Ever wondered what really happens when we poop? Let's break it down, step by step. When you take a bite of food, the journey begins in your mouth. Your teeth grind it up, and your saliva starts breaking it down even before you swallow. From there, the food travels down the food pipe and lands in the stomach, a churning, acid-filled mixing bowl that turns food into a soft, soupy mix. Next stop, the small intestine. Think of this as your body's nutrient station. It's long, coiled, and lined with tiny hair-like structures called villi that absorb all the good stuff, vitamins, minerals, carbs, fats, and proteins. Everything your body needs for energy and growth gets soaked up here and sent into your bloodstream. What's left behind, the stuff your body doesn't need, moves on to the large intestine. This is where things start to look a bit more familiar. The large intestine's job is to absorb any leftover water and compact the remaining waste. Slowly, it pushes everything toward the rectum, which is kind of like the waiting room before the final exit. When the rectum fills up, it sends a clear message to your brain. Hey, it's go time. That's when your body coordinates a series of muscle movements, tightening some, relaxing others, to let everything out smoothly. It's a surprisingly elegant and well-timed process, a teamwork moment between your digestive system, your muscles, and your brain. And it all happens automatically, day after day, without you even thinking about it. So, the next time nature calls, remember, your body just completed a complex, carefully tuned process that keeps you healthy and balanced. Pretty amazing, right? Now here's a question for you. How many times do you poop in a day? Drop your answer in the comments.